Stop, don't scroll. Are you still struggling with lust, pornography, and sexual immorality? You go one week and you fall the next. And you keep going around in this cycle, sinning over and over and over again. You keep trying to do these streaks with God to show how holy you're living. But every time you fail him. The key to getting free and staying free is literally found in the word of God. But you choose to sin rather than read your word. The Bible says in Galatians 5.16, Walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Many of y'all are walking in your flesh instead of walking in the spirit. When the devil sins an evil thought to your mind you have to immediately reject it and cast it out the bible says in matthew chapter 4 and luke chapter 4 that satan came to tempt jesus and every time he came with temptation jesus resisted him with the word of god the only way to resist the devil is by speaking the word of god and how can you ever speak it if you don't know it and how can you know it if you never read it david said in psalms 119 11 thy word have i hidden in my heart that i might not sin against thee if the word of god is never inside of you it will never come is never inside of you it will never come out of you the only thing that's going to come out of you is what you feed yourself if you are feeding yourself sexual thoughts sexual sin sexual immorality the only thing that's going to come out is those types of sins you have to feed yourself with the word of god you have to feed yourself with the spirit therefore you can defeat sin you can defeat satan the bible says if you resist the devil he will flee from you so when you speak the word of god against the devil the devil has to flee from you in psalm 103 20 the bible says bless the lord you his angels that excel in strength hearkening to to obey the voice of his commandment the moment the word of god is sent forth the moment angels hear the voice or the word of god they obey him how much more demons the bible says you believe in god you do well even the demons believe and they tremble at the sound of his voice so when god's word is in your mouth Demons have to obey, angels have to obey, and they're going to begin to fight on your behalf. So you got to begin to put the word on the inside of you so that it can come out of you so then you can start living a victorious life. Many of you have been living a sinful lifestyle, and today you need to repent of all of your sins. If Jesus, will he say, well done, my good and faithful servant, or is he going to say, depart from me, you who practice iniquity? Don't think that grace is just going to cover you because you're a Christian. If you do not live holy, you will not see the Lord. That's what the Bible says in Hebrews. So today, give your life to Jesus. He will save you. He will set you free. He will deliver for you and if you want to give your life to jesus the bible says whoever calls on his name shall be saved pray this prayer with us and believe it in your heart and say dear lord jesus come into my heart forgive me of my sin i believe you're the son of god that raised from the dead and you're returning again for me deliver me from lustful thoughts from sexual sin that i may serve you and live holy in the name of jesus amen and if you prayed that prayer, we want you to type, I prayed in the comments. Share this video with 10 to 15 people. Let them know how to get set free from sin. Because Jesus is coming back soon. And he's coming back for a church that does not have spot or wrinkle. And spots or wrinkles is what? Sin. So give your life to him fully. Serve him fully. And watch, he's going to transform your life. Share this video.